Welcome back! 30 seconds ago. I missed you all so very much! We're gonna be starting another game! <laughs> you like this? You like this screen? This, uh, screen? This was made to, uh, this was made for me by our very own Arcavius. Everybody say thank you, Arc! It was actually really, really cool. He made another version of it that was just the black and white, or I'm um, black and white, black and red. Select monitor on the left. Oh shit, I should have played, should have put windowed. Whoopsies. But, uh, and I really liked that one too. Oh, whoops. Hold on. This one. Boop, 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 boop. This screen. And I really like that one too, but then like I noticed that this one like had a lot of detail put in it. He spent so much time. There was like glitter in the background. It's like you can see all the little details of like the textures on the rose petals. So I went with this one. Uh so hold tight for a momento. Okie dokie! Let's start our game! Does it need to be resized? I can detail the other one too. Um, it does? It does? But, um, it's, I mean, it works the way that it is. But, da 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 da! Um, it works the way that it is. But, um, if it, the, the optimal size is, uh, I don't know, I sent it to you in a Twitch message. I don't remember what it was. Uh, 1920 by 1080. Yes. So! Four stories. One nightmare. Untold stories. <laughs> so thank you again for ARK. This, uh, this, this game is also brought to you by ARK, who um, was lovely enough to give me a donation that um, I put directly toward getting this game so that we can... Um, we can play it now um, instead of later. So that was very nice of him. Oh, I really appreciate that. That was very kind. So let's take a look at options first. I have not even started this game up again. Kids still say that, right, Woot? Oh my god, Sin, I'm so glad you said that because I still say Woot. And I actually I actually said that in a text to a friend of mine who's, um, I, she may have just turned 20, but um, if she hasn't, she's still 19. And she plays video games, and she's on Steam and stuff, and she's cool, like, in my eyes. And she said something really cool, and I was excited about it. So I texted back, Woot, and then, like, a second, ag and then, like, a second later, I thought, Oh my god, and did I just say something super incredibly lame? And I literally thought, do kids still say that? <laughs> oh, we definitely need subtitles, fuck yeah. Uh, save files, unlock all levels. No, we don't need to do that. Is that literally all the options? Holy shit. Um, so this is not in windowed mode. Shit. I may have to change that next time we're in. Can you guys hear everything? Is everything good? Shit, Sen, don't make me feel old. Fuck. It wasn't that long ago. I mean, maybe that's the year it started, but... Whatever. Jeez. Just gonna start the game, okay? Okay. Keep in mind this game needs in-depth anvil- Oh, okay. Alright. All right. <clears throat> this is gonna be focus time. Focus. Alright. Ah, that's loud! Shit. Put on my thinking hat. I may have just accidentally paused it because I had to tab out to load the volume. Is this like a spooky scary as well?
in-depth analysis. Okay, so so we'll take it small chunks at a time then, which is good because I only have like maybe half an hour. The house abandoned. Interactive adventure. Very spooky. Oh, good, good, good. I was in the mood for a little spooky, scary, a little smidge of horror, little dash of the spooks. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it, it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. I can type things. <sighs> can I just check, like, check glove box? Is it that smart? Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Uh, read notes. Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need. I just saw something flash there. You'll need to fire up the generator around the back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. I saw. I thought. I thought for just a second I saw a word flash right next to Yule. Like. You'll need to fire up the generator? I thought I saw something. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, okay, stop. 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 We jumped into this way too fast, okay? So, what's going on here? <sighs> Our setting looks like... We are... Pre-1990s. Pre-1990s. So, any time before that. Like, I, I honestly can't remember the 80s, so... Sometime before that. Maybe 70s or 80s, possibly? Somebody else can correct me. Uh, because we got an old, very old style. Well, for one, we are playing a text adventure, which was popular in... Not popular, but was going around in, what, the... I want to say late 70s? Maybe early 80s? Uh, we have a clock that's going on military time. And it is 10:05 p.m. We're gonna be. I'm gonna check that in a minute to see if it actually ticks in real time. Uh, old school keyboard tape loader. A keyboard with a tape loader? Very strange. But we do have a corded house phone. We have some pictures on the table. There's one with two children in it. And then another picture with another child in it. Uh, my grandparents had a TV almost exactly like this. Where um, it had like, I think 12 or 13 channels. And they were different buttons, just like that. Um, I think it had like a dial that did something yeah interesting by uh, okay so the house abandoned by no code interesting okay so this is taking place quite a while ago alright so that is our observation of our surroundings the first thing you should always do speaking of feeling old those old Mac story games like Uninvited and Deja Vu were evolution of the text adventures. So were Pacas, like Maniac Mansion and stuff like that. Hmm. Okay. The clock has not ticked past. So I'm going to be paying attention to that to see if it does change and when it does change to see what it's indicating. Alright. <sighs> uh... Oops. I just hit enter. Um, you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. What? I didn't mean to. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Can I? Ha! <laughs> I've actually never played a text adventure myself. It's kind of sorry embarrassing but uh, do I have to turn the car off turn off car I'm sorry I don't understand okay um, leave car 
You open the car door and get step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. The front of you is the front door. Go around back. Around back? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, uh, go to back of house? Back of house. Didn't he say that's where the generator was? The door appears to be locked. You will need to use the key. Wait, but... Read note. The note is from your dad. It reads, hi, son. You'll... Me! It said me! It did it again! Watch, 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 watch! Watch! Shit. I mean to do that. No, I don't want to wait. Okay, um, watch. I'm going to hit read note. Pay attention. I think there was a red word that appeared right here that said me. You should be able to check exactly what you want to do. Funny. Huh. Right here. N-E. N-E. Knee. Oh, maybe it's just a glitch where it's supposed to be N-E from need. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Um, go. Oh, Y-A, yard. It did the same thing right here. Uh, turn on generator? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Um, check generator? Hmm, maybe just go in first. Use key on door. <laughs> okay, use key. <laughs> You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Okay. Enter house. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's... Did it again. Dark, and you can see... You can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. did it again, but it didn't look like it was DA from Dark. I want to see it again. Right here. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Alright. Alright, flip, light, switch. Pay attention. I click and nothing. There is no power. The note should say how to restore it. Yeah, I know it does. I tried to go around back. <sighs> go around back of house. How smart are you? You step <laughs> Didn't I do this already? Perfectly on the, the, the trees. In front of you is the front door and the y y yard stretches to the side of the house. Walk through yard. How about that? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go through yard. Do I have to use like ver like specific verbs? You take a walk to the yard for fuck's sake. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a say for holidays. Okay. You just been one team. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay. Go back of house. Let's see if I have to use like what I understand is like the classic commands, where you have to put a very specific verb, and then like the subject or the subject. Yeah, subject. Go back of house. Yes. You walk back around to the front. Perfectly amongst the, the trees. The front. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the. Ah, uh, 
try using short commands. That thing you're seeing with the words is trying to fit themselves in the screen, but moving to fit. Okay. Um. Can someone help me out? Like, I, I know what I'm trying to do. I don't think it's part of the difficulty of the game to make it so that, like, I, I can't do what I'm trying to do. It said that I need to go around the back of the house. The yard stretches around the side of the house. <sighs> Walk. Back. Of. House. What? I didn't say use, I said walk. You step inside the front door. Okay. Fine generator. That's unintuitive. So bad at this. Um, walk through yard. Leave house. Oh, go to backyard. Ah, uh, backyard, okay. Go to backyard. You take a, ro a walk around to the yard. Okay, I saw this before already. Good memories, okay. And then find generator. Oh man, I have a feeling I'm not gonna... What? Did I spell generator wrong or something? You walk, you walk back around. Oh my god. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire out the generator around the back to get power and lights on. Around the back. I'm so... Uh... I don't know what you were trying to use. I'm so... Okay, I, no, 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 it's okay. Don't boot up your laptop. I can look it up. I can look it up. In old games, look would reveal things. Oh, of course. Of course. Oops, slash look. Oh my god. I, did I really, really need to hit do look first? Okay, that's alright. Now that I know, now that I know that that's a thing, okay. The house is still dark. Um. Go to front door. Now that I know how, what the rules are, okay.
Yeah. Um. Okay, it's just a matter of knowing what the rules of the game are. Yay! The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. There is access to the kitchen and living room here. Look. Okay. Look, kitchen. What? Oh. Um. Look. It says access. I guess I can't see it yet. Look around. The hallway is a pleasant welcome to the home. Airy and fresh. Okay. Enter. Living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Now I can look. There's nothing here of interest. Okay. I keep doing the slash! Uh... Intellectual puzzles. Okay, um... Alright, so let's go into the kitchen then. Alright, let's go back. Uh, go... go back. <laughs> you go back out to the hallway. Nice, perfect. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and the living room. Alright, so it's logical. This is very logical. You have to be very concrete about things. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. Alright, so we've obviously, we obviously, like, have people who come and keep this place well kept for us. There's a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Well, let's look, just to be sure. A very clean... It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Okay. Utility room. Let's just keep in mind that that's there. Go back. Alright, we're gonna go up the stairs into our room and check what Dad left for us that he found. Dad left for us in our room. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the wall. Images of happy times. Sounds like a like standard very happy family though. There's the bathroom. Um, look around. Okay. Uh, enter my bedroom. You walk into your old room. So many good memories in here. It 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 just says good memories a lot. Like, repeatedly a lot, a lot. It's starting to make me slightly suspicious. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. It's a standard bedroom. A desk, a wood grain TV, the usual. Okay. Mm hmm. Open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. Ah, oh, I'm excited. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Your old bedroom. So many good memories here and it's been preserved so well. Well, your desk is for your old computer. Copy of the house abandoned. It's all still... It's all still to be set up, though. set up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. I don't know. The computer? Play game. I'm playing a game on a game! 
You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Oh, shit! Is Oh, is it this? Okay. There are now, uh, there are now black boxes over the eyes of the, uh, photographs. It's upside down. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. That startled me. Get out, get out, get out. The house abandoned. You pull up to the driveway at the family of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You What? This is different. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Completely different. Glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Same thing as before, just little red uh, imprints of the words that didn't. Uh. So we're now at zero, 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 zero. Again, there's black bars across the eyes of all the children. This is now dirty when it was not before. Everything else appears to be the same. I'm wondering if this is not a TV, but it's a computer, which would make sense since it has a computer, <laughs> or I'm um, since it has a uh, keyboard connected to it, but I'm just gonna drive away. Leave. You force the warped car door open and fall out. What? <laughs> the house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Get out. Drive away. <laughs> um, look around. The lights are off. Windows are broken. There is the f there is the front door and a yard. Look. Things are getting spooky. Playing a game about playing a game about playing a game. Oh my god, it is. What? This isn't going to confuse me. I have a clear understanding of what's happening. As always. <laughs> Always. Uh, look, yard? The yard feels cramped. It's been used as a dumping ground for rubbish and waste. It's disgusting. Ah, go to front door. I'm sorry, I don't understand. God. Uh, how else do you want me to say it? Use key on front door. Door appears to be locked. You will use key. Whoops. Misspelled. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Dang. This is really interesting. See, I love words and I love English. And I like, I love like written storytelling. So this is really interesting how you can be telling the same story so differently. So differently. Um, okay. Uh, alright. Uh, enter house? Is that what I need to say next? Ooh, we have sound effects now. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Get out! I'm sorry, I don't understand. Leave. Oh. Coward! <laughs> uh, check yard. Alright, um, walk to yard. Oh, for fuck's sake, go to yard. I don't remember. You step through the debris to the backyard. Grass is overgrown. The weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. It's one of the uh, sound effect. 
<laughs> I knew you would get into those sound effects. It's one of the challenges of multiple viewpoints in the story. Each character will see the same room object person differently. That's so true. There's an old generator next to you. Start. Generator. Hey, my light! Okay, so there's some black splotches on these, uh... There's some black splotches on these, um, pictures now. Uh, there isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go to front of house. So you're gonna be that smart? You go back to the front of the house. Ugh. What creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. Okay. Can you let me just, can you just let me type before you have to finish all of your, your typing? Enter house. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm hmm Couldn't be less invi- couldn't be any less inviting. Um, flip, switch. Uh, look around. Fumbling around the wet- w wet? Wet walls, you find a switch. Flip, switch. Flip, light, switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after use and neglect and worse. Or worse. They're- Ah! Upstairs the sound of the alarm clock blaring someone else is in this house. That can't be. Run away! Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Get out! No! Make, make it stop. Get out! Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. This says stop. I can't click on it. Stop. What the fuck? Stop alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the... You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is... Someone is in this house. They should not be here. This kitchen. There is a kitchen and living room adjacent stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. I don't know what's going to disappear before I get the chance to read it. So now I feel like... I did. Yeah, I did look at the alarm clock. Yeah, that was... It's one of the... Oh my goodness. That was annoying. Is it still a little loud, by the way? Because I can turn it down. Okay. It's alright? Alright. Phew. Okay. So. Um. Should I check the other stuff or should I just go up the stairs? Ah, oh, come on. We need to. We need to get into the swing of things. Let's check everything. Does the note change with these new descriptions? <gasps> Let's check. Read note. <laughs> I can't read the note. It's bleeding. <laughs> the note is bleeding. Oh man. Okay. Drop note. Okay. <laughs> Enter kitchen. It stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Eat carcass, Ralph. <laughs> Ralphine, <laughs> you are so fucked up in the head. <laughs> There seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Holy shit. <laughs> in blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. You look closer, but can't tell what it is, or what it was.
There is a red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Yeah, must be paint. It feels like the note. Let's look at the note. The paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There is nothing for you here. Mm. Utility door. Door is locked. I can't get in there. No, not yet. Oh, not yet. Oh, God. Oh, geez, it's at 99.99 now. Oh, there's writing on the wall now. Look. Hold on a second. I have to greet my my wonderful boyfriend and give him hugs. Give me one second. Okay, I'm sorry. Like the number you saw on the wall in the kitchen, 1986? Huh? Do I like it? Well, we, we haven't seen anywhere to use it yet. Uh, okay. Oh, it does say 1986. Oh! I thought it was just a squiggle. Yeah, Pepsi, thank you. Thank you, my love. I now have Pepsi. Ugh, gross. I mean, it's better than uh, it's better than no soda, but uh, I don't have my delicious Coke Vanilla Zero because uh, this was what was on sale at the store. You know, because like soda is like stupid expensive. Like if you buy just the single ones, so um, we usually buy it when there's a sale where you can buy like five car uh, cartons of them, and then they're like three dollars each instead of like six dollars each but uh, they were not on sale Pepsi was on sale so we got Pepsi instead and oh it was so very wrong such a very terrible decision Pepsi is inferior Pepsi's inferior we should have just waited in fact we need to go to the grocery store tonight so we'll, I'm, sh I'm probably gonna check if they have coke on sale and if they do then we'll just save these Pepsis for, like, emergency. I'll put them in, like, our, <laughs> I don't know, like, our earthquake preparedness kit or some shit. Because they are going to be for emergency only. Burps. Okay. All right. <sighs> Let's get back into it. Okay. We're in the kitchen. There is a carcass on the table. We're gonna, yeah, all right. I, I do wanna see the game's response to eat carcass, I do. You are disappointed in yourself for even going there. <laughs> Thank you, Ralphine. It's just an extra fun thing. It's not a spoiler in any way. No, I know, it's just super gross. <laughs> So that's why I was just considering it. Uh, okay, so we can leave this room now. Go back. I'm glad that you can say go back instead of just... You go... Oh, your shoes are wet. Noise has stopped. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone's in the house. You should not be here. The, uh, there's a Jason C. Not... The note feels disgusting in your hands, leaving... Look. Shoes. What? Look. At. My. Shoes. 
Look note. You can't read the note, it's bleeding. <sighs> Enter living room. You went to the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and warm. The note is fixed in your mind. The dread fills dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look. Living room. Run down and empty, abandoned, and for good reason. Sit on furniture. No chance! Hmm. The shoes are irrelevant? I just wanted to see. This is my world. I want to explore it. Wasn't this made by the same developer as Pony Island? Pony Island? Is that game like it sounds? Okay, we have to go back. Alright, there's no... Whoop. We returned to the... Use it. Oh, nice. It ignored my typo. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. <clears throat> okay, we're going upstairs. Go upstairs. That's it. That's the only thing to do. Go up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister, sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures all over the wall, but something is different about them. Ah! Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. You don't understand. Neither can he. What? What's going on? What? I know what's going on. I know what's going on. <coughs> We are in the game, right? This is, uh... <laughs> uh, okay, so... The, the character that we're controlling with our text is sensing the presence of... the person writing the text, right? This is like a... I don't I don't want to say like a fourth wall breaking type scenario. That's not the, that's not correct, but it's along the same idea. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So, he hears the phone ringing. He's hearing this phone ringing. I'm pretty sure that's what's that's what's going on. You don't understand. Neither can he. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, oh, I'm almost positive that's what's going on. Okay. Uh, enter. Bathroom. I didn't check the bathroom before because I thought I'd be able to check it after. Later. I can't hear what you're saying over that ringing. I? Hmm. Uh. Look. Pictures. Ah. Answer phone? You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into your room. Whoever's in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Who, whoever. You consider the worst. Like, this is this is like some Bandersnatch shit. This is what this is. Did anybody hear, um... Has anybody seen, um... Never mind. No, no, I don't wanna... <laughs> I won't say that. Uh, never mind spoilers. <clears throat> uh, you do, I do. You consider the worst. Huh. Same but different. Okay, now I can continue on, I suppose. Look, pictures. Pictures are of your families. All their eyes have been scored out on all of them. Yep, just like this one. Enter. Bathroom. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Look. Ground. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Tap. Taps rusted in position. Let's look in the mirror. Interesting. Oh god, something scary is gonna happen! You can't bear to look at yourself. Oh, look. Toilet? 
A broken mirror? Um, look, shower? Look, bath? Maybe bathtub? Half expecting to find a dead body in there? Bathtub? It's not tube. <laughs> bath tube. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Okay. Look, sink. It's disgusting. Grime and dead bugs. Taps won't budge. Okay, I guess we're done here. <coughs> Go back. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room. Your room and the bathroom. Okay. Enter sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Whoa. Uh. Rem <laughs> remove boards? Pry off.